Hello everyone, this is Excalibur and I'm back. Um, oof. I've been playing some Minecraft and I got a little confused there for a second. Uh, get out. Uh, first off, banana. Now what were we doing? Well, uh, one of the things is uh, we were getting ready to uh, get stuff together to fight the boss. The boss, the boss, the boss. Um, the UFO that comes down and constantly uh, mashes up my face with unhappiness. There we go. Now I have fuel. And we're going to uh, put a modern sliding door instead of this poopy thing. see how that looks. Yes, I am modifying my starship a little bit. There we go. Aha! Um, we're actually going to do quite a bit of uh, modification to this beast. Uh, right now, though, this is a large monitor. We're going to go to a different system. Well, not different. It's going to be the snow system. Now we're going to go to a different planet. Um, because I want to experience a little bit different stuff here. So, most of these places were right here. Let's take a look at this. We have threat level 1. It's going to cost us some amount of fuel. I think 200. I think that's what the um, what that means. So if we come over here and uh, we come here, we click on this as a place we want to go. See, we're in the same system. It's not going to cost much fuel. But uh, if we right click twice and go to, say, this system here, click on this. So you want to go here, it's going to take that much fuel. But what we're going to do, we're going to go to a really, really uh, close neighborhood planet. I actually want to go to the bottom. I just actually want to go here. We're going to see what plants we can find. It's a threat level 9. This. Okay, this is 8, 10, 7, 6. And can't land on that. This one, 5 and 8. We're going to go to this. Threat level 5 planet. And go. Whoa! Look at all that fuel. Move this out of the way so you can see my apely face behind my not so um, good armor. Now, one of the things here is uh, there are two slots. Um. One slot here is for vanity items, so that's what you look like. That's why when I had on the copper um, helmet, um, putting this over top of it uh, made it look like that, but I was get only getting the copper um, helmet's uh, uh, goodness. So we're looking here, we got better armor, better heat protection on all of these. So we're going to be perfectly awesome down in the, on the planet. Um, we have a really crappy weapon, so we have to be careful, and, uh, we're going to drop off some stuff before we go any farther, because we are going to want to have room for any spoils we find down there. I'm going to keep this food, and the oil lantern, but everything else here, we'll just shift-click it in. We don't need the hoe. Um, take the medical kit, we'll leave our copper bar and that leave all the stuff here I'm gonna bring thunder punch because that seems to be somewhat over OP from what I've seen leave the fuel here oh no we'll take the fuel with and the wood we may need those I'm gonna take the dirt because we need building blocks there we go uh, leave that I'll leave the glass uh, we have these uh, 
deep fried bananas will bring them as well. So I'm going to put all my food items down here, like so. Uh, we're going to take the plant fibers for bandages. So we only have four, so we'll make some before we leave. These bombs should prove to be interesting. We'll leave the graffiti. We'll take this solitary flare and the campfire, just in case. We'll keep the stim packs and get rid of the blue petals. We have all these too. We're going to go ahead and dump off the majority of this stuff too. Keep that cobblestone. Oh, we don't need the cobblestone. We got a thousand blocks. So we'll do this. And we'll move that other wood over here. Oh, where did it go? There it is. We have more than enough wood. We have more than enough dirt. And more than enough cobble. That should be enough building blocks to create temporary bases and junk. We don't need the fluorescent lamp. This is just in case we run out of torches. And, nah. We can make torches while we're there. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. This is what we're going to go down with. Let's get our thunder punch ready. Set that up there. It's a little slower, but we can get the timing down and find out how things go. Phew! And the first thing we find is a chest with sandstone chair blueprint, sandstone door blueprint. Hmm. I wonder what we have here. Looks like we have sand on under our feet. And some monsters, so we need pixels. Oh yeah. There we go. Are those things passive? Yeah, they don't seem to be attacking. We'll get Thunder Punch ready just in case. Uh, we have some sort of farty creatures there. Yep. Thunder Punch. Well, we can use all the ores we find, so I'll go ahead and dig this way. Oh. There we go. Desert planets are the best place to get resources because, you guess it, um, a lot of the sand will make getting these ores easy. Watch that. Since the sand tends to collapse, we will get lots and lots of ore. Now this thunder punch is a lot slower than I anticipated. We're going to have to get ourselves another anvil so we'll keep our eyes open uh, we're going to be building ourselves up. a few things that thing looks dangerous didn't turn you into meat. Let's craft us some bandages while we're here. And go up, uh, say, to 25, which is all we're allowed to do. All right. And, uh, some of my friends have been telling me that that looks a lot like toilet paper, so I'm going to ignore them. <laughs> all right. Higher threat level planet. We don't have super OP weapons or anything yet, so it's going to be kind of difficult to uh, 
kill things. So, as you saw, we've got some issues with monsters and all that. And we're not going to worry too much about going underground just yet. We will be looking for anything we can find underground, of course. Is that what I think it is? What is that? Oh, okay, it's just like weed kind of stuff. Alright. And what kind of stuff do we have here? Get him down there. As soon as they jump. Alright, and there we go. Come on up here. Got to get used to this timing here. There we go. Oh, I want to know what this is. Just cobblestone? Desert-based cobblestone? Yeah. Here I am in <laughs> winter gear. Let's eat some toilet paper, because two-ply is fine. Okay. Oh, now that's interesting. An alien skull on top of a cactus. I won't tell you what that looks like. But let's see what happens. Can we eat this? Axe it? Hmm. Just one of those weird cactus things. Alright, let's get one of these guys over here. There we go. Get that timing down. Here's something weird. Now either my microphone or my headset is dying or there's some sort of electric gizmo over here. Oh, there's an electric gizmo over here. With some weird Jawa dude. So we're going to keep going... Saws, that's what this is. One, two, three. There's nothing in this avian tomb, so we're going to grab it. And we're going to go into this chest. We have pixels, coal, and torches. We'll grab the chest. And we're going to grab all of this here. Uh, we need a better pick. Got a portcullis and dark tomb bricks. We've got another random chest. Man, those mice have some really bad gas problems. Oh, and it looks like we have an antenna up there. Can I get up there? Yeah. It's a wireless generator. Hmm. I wonder if that can be used for anything at all. And our pick is really, really showing its age here. It's getting really used up. So we're going to take down this entire thing. Probably going to work through the night. Alright, we will just take this, the foreground stuff, because I don't want to spend the time to take the background stuff. Here we go.
and we'll do this. So we'll get these three. I don't care if they fall. And it sounds like penguins with gas down there. <laughs> uh, and I am fighting the urge. The urge for cartoon character voices. All right. Our intrepid hero finds a oh, pulse jump blueprint. Yeah. That's oop, very close to being worth it going back up to the ship for right now. Pulse jump. Very, very nice to have. Very, very nice. I do not know who that robed dude was, but he wanted us dead, so I had to make him dead. Alright, let's get Thunder Punch. Thing's gonna attack. Whoop! Didn't want to hit the little mouse thingy. Understand they have issues with gas. Yeah. So, right there. Right in the middle. Get this coal. Let's see what else we have. Another chest. Excellent. To get this goal. And it is luckily very easy to get. We have a senseless whacker. 5, 1, 2, 9, and 21. 5. Huh. We'll see if that is any better. It looks like it's faster anyway. 1, 2, 1, 2, 9. All right. Ooh. All right. We see the copper there. We'll come back. We're going to see if we can find any more things like that. Oh, that's faster. All right. This is too easy to not get. Was oh, is this sandstone? That must be. Yep. Uh, not as easy as sand, but at least we're not falling into chasms or anything like that. We have weird plant. Looks like it might be an automato plant. Yeah, there we go, see. Yep, automatoes. They're a glitch, at least nearby. Let's get one of those guys. And here we go. Wow. Wow. Yeah, a lot faster. And does about the same amount of damage as uh, the Thunder Punch. Excellent. Skip over these guys. Oh, you're right in the way, dude. There we go. Let's use the terrain. Woo! Oh, and get stuck by the train. 